Okay. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. This has been so inspiring. Uh, so just a little bit about me. My name is Christina. Um, my nickname is Bonesy. And I'm an augmented reality artist. I love to paint with oil paint and then uh, create augmented reality filters that interact with the piece. So I quit my full-time job like five years ago where I was a fashion retoucher. So I got really good at doing photo or Photoshop and retouching photography for large format for you know all the top brands. And I got really, that's where I honed my skills in, um, in the digital work. And I got really interested in animation and VR and AR starting in 2013, 2014. But it, like the technology wasn't really there yet. So I kind of just let that sit for a while and got really focused on my painting. I've been painting figures and drawing them since I was so for 20 years now. So um, yeah, I just started focusing on the, the physical painting part and getting really into that, traveling the world, doing residencies. And then only recently did I feel like the technology kind of catch up enough where I could then combine it with my art. So let me see if I can figure this out. Ah, there. OK, so this is a little bit about my process. So the the. The painting is on the left side. That's a 40 by 40 oil painting on canvas. And that takes about two months for it to dry after I, I do it. Usually it takes about a month for me to work on a piece, even though I always have like 10 or 20 going on at the same time. <laughs> if you come to my studio, you will, you will see that. Um, and then I, for this new series, this is called Emotions for Days. That's what the, the new series is about, um, all these emotions. and and how we perceive them as good or bad. And I just, I think it's really interesting that we, we tend to put them in buckets. So then I decided to experiment with the Oculus and recreate the painting in Tilt Brush as a 3D version of itself, right? So then I made the augmented reality filter from that. So when you look at the painting through the filter, which is on Instagram, or a picture of the painting, it works as well with a photo of the painting. Um, when it recognizes the image, then it turns into the 3D version of the painting. So it's, it's really fun to see people's like heads explode when they see it in person first, because it's hard to explain um, in words, but you know, when you see it, you'll, you'll get it. And um, yeah, so this is how I have fun with, with my art. And now, of course, with NFTs, it's been such an exciting time because it's really shaking up the art world. And I don't really fit into a traditional gallery environment, right? I'm, I'm kind of not digital and I'm kind of not um, traditional, so I'm, I'm sort of in the middle. So I've been using the blockchain and this whole new series is only available as NFTs. So when you purchase the NFT, you purchase the original oil painting with it. And I'm using it as a proof of value for one thing because they think a lot of the, I don't know, this might be controversial, but a lot of the, uh, the the art world is a lot of smoke and mirrors. We're going to pay this much, but really it's like, I don't know, did it really cost that much? You know, So that's why I love that the blockchain is so transparent. You can see exactly what the value of it is. And then, of course, the certificate of authenticity. If you've ever bought a painting, the current technology is a piece of paper that says this is real and authentic, right? So that's where we're at. Um, I love you, the idea of using NFTs to say, this painting was real and created in this year by this artist, and this is the photo of the painting, and then you get the actual painting. So in theory, you can, of course, probably see a world where this could be manipulated or you, know, you could sell the NFT and maybe the person didn't mail the actual painting to the next buyer. But in my theory, like, Theoretically, I, I hope that it works out where one is not as valuable without the other. So it becomes this, this together piece where people can see that you own the NFT and then you're like, yeah, but look, it's this actual physical painting too. And then also in my case, it's like interactive with the 3D and the AR. Um, I also think that buying an NFT for an artist is a way to like buy stock in their brand, right? You're, you're supporting the artist and all artists really need support. So if you can find an artist that you really connect with and you like their work, 
buying their NFTs is such a wonderful way to help them pay their bills so that they can continue to experiment and push the technology or their work or their practice, you know? And um, I just don't think that selling a painting through a traditional gallery is, you don't get that connection directly with the artist at, that you do in this case with the NFTs, right? Um, and also, in my case, the collectors are receiving benefits. So by owning my NFTs, every time I have a show, you'll get first access, you'll get maybe VIP nights only, um, or like early, you know, early access to purchase my new work or discounts on my new work. And of course, these benefits will continue to evolve as I continue to create new projects and, and come up with new ways that I can thank my, my collectors and really create this relationship that again, I, it just, you can't keep track of who owns your painting, but you can very easily keep track of who owns your NFTs. So it, to me, just makes, it just clicked like everything with this whole, with this whole world. Um, yeah, I minted my first NFT over a year ago and sort of just dove headfirst into, into this world. And then last but not least, I really love that you can get the secondary sales, which is just impossible in the real world. I would never get a secondary sale um, percentage of, of my work. It just doesn't, it just doesn't happen, right? So that's all um, pretty much really exciting. So there was a video on this of the VR and the AR, but I guess it didn't load. Let's see. Nope. Oh, well. So anyway, if you want to see more of my work, you can connect with me here on all the things at Art by Bonesy. That's my nickname. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for NFT NYC for inviting me to speak. And um, look forward to connecting with many of you later. Bye.